Hi, I'm Natalie Critchley from NatalieCritchley.com, and today we're going to talk about what niches are available for your online business. But before we do, if you would consider hitting that subscribe button if you're new to this channel, would love to have you come back for more. And if you ring the bell, I when I produce videos each and every week, they'll get sent to you automatically via email. So let's get started. What niches are available to you for your online business? Well, there are five or six that are super popular. Um, one being wealth, you know, and let's, let's back up for two seconds. When you're thinking about a niche, the really the key thing to think about is you're attracting people. You've got to find a market of people to talk to. So who are those people, right? Who, what's that group of people that is going to answer your email or click your link or respond to a message? Well, the key is more than likely they need to have a problem because the idea is that if you have an online business, you have a solution. So that problem, that nagging little problem that keeps them awake at night, sleepless, tossing, turning, those are the people that you want to target with a product or service. So. Before you find a product or service, you really need to think about the, the niche or niche, however you pronounce it. I pronounce it as niche. Um, so there are a number of different niches that work really well in online marketing. So the first one, let's talk about wealth. A lot of people are stressed out over money, right? It might be that they don't know how to budget. They need help um, with a financial planner. They don't know how to save for college. They don't know how to pay their bills. Um, Go back to budgeting they don't know how to set a, a a weekly budget a daily budget a monthly budget a yearly budget they don't know how to plan for vacation to take their kids away they don't know how to plan for retirement there are so many little pieces of the wealth niche that you could address based on your expertise or your love of your passion for that particular topic so wealth is really open health is another big one Health is really, uh, it, it's so big and wide open. You really have to niche it down to make a dent, in, 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 in my opinion. So we're talking about health. We're talking about weight loss. We're talking about exercise. We're talking about keto diets. We're talking about Weight Watchers. You're, you're talking about rehab injuries. You're talking about um, leisure fitness. You're, you're talking about all different kinds of of, of, of issues in the health and wellness industries that create issues and problems for people. One, the most important being, you know, nutrition, weight loss, aging, illness, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's, you name it. There's a plethora of, of information that you could provide if, if that is, you know, your niche. And I, I really want to make sure you understand that when you're, you're, you're going after a market, if you're new to online business, that you, you look for, the smaller groups. You don't want to go for thousands of people that you want to reach every day. You want to go for the thousand people that are raving fans or the hundred to get started. You want to find the people that are looking for you. That's the key. Having the information, having the products, having the services that solve that problem. So you don't think about masses. Think about a small group of people you can call your tribe. So wealth, health relationships dating has always been popular dating is you know relationships how to find a boyfriend how to find a girlfriend how to find a spouse how to stay in love with your spouse how to get married how to stay married i mean there are all kinds of topics and issues around relationships i mean when you look at our population and it used to be it was like 50% of the population has been married and divorced. There's all kinds of people out there looking for help. And depending on your expertise in that matter, again, you might have a, an ebook or a course or a video or a webinar or something that relates to somebody else because believe it or not, though you think this is you're in this space all by yourself, they only think about themselves where you get to reach out and help them because it may have happened to you, you know, and, and you get to be that person that you can say, you know what, I get it happened to me too. Those are the people you're looking for that will respond back to you in email or video. So health, wealth, relationships, 
Number four would be pets. Woo! Everybody loves their pets. In fact, I'm here dog sitting uh, my two nephews, Peyton and Riley, this uh, for the last few days. Um, so dogs, 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 cats, animals, pets, huge, huge industry. I mean, everybody loves their pets, right? Everybody loves their pets. So um, that's a whole nother niche that whether you get into dog grooming, you could get into customized um, toys, customized beds, leashes, you can get into, you know, any amount of dog training, cat training, uh, animal whispering, you, you name it, you can do it. It's open because people are always looking to solve their pet problems. And if you could do it online, there's no replace for a vet, but a lot of people search online just to find out how do I get my dog to take a pill? How do I get my dog to go outside? How do I get, my, whatever the case may be, people are looking for solutions. So animals, specifically dogs, are big, big niche. So health, wealth, relationships, pets, and the last one that I would talk about is online businesses. And that's what attracted me online. Um, that's my niche, online. I feel, I, and online is very broad. You can become a graphic designer. You can become a website builder. You can understand WordPress. You can design logos. You can get on Fiverr and make beautiful stuff for people. I chose affiliate marketing because I love having a product or service and I can help somebody. And I want to share and be able to help somebody get started online. So affiliate marketing for me is sharing a product and getting paid a little tiny commission for, you know, the effort in putting out an ad or a post or whatever type of medium I'm using to market my business. So the online space is, there's just, again, huge, lots of opportunity. So you have to kind of drill it down. And again, what do you want to do? And once you get online, do you want to be an online marketer? Do you want to be an affiliate marketer? Do you want to be a YouTuber? Do you want to be an Instagrammer? Do you want, you know, I mean, again, Facebooker, you can do it all. So kind of, you know, pick whatever direction you want to go in and, and travel down that route. So those are the big ones. Um, you know, probably I heard a stat that there are 200,000 people plus looking for an online business each and every day around the world. So people are hungry for some extra money. People are hungry to have something else to potentially, you know, support their retirement, put their kids through college, pay off some bills, pay for a new car, whatever the case may be. And an online business seems to be uh, a way that you can make that reality, can help people in their spare hours during the week learn something new the key is you got to be willing to learn right this is you know this isn't easy you know you gotta there are there are some pieces to this puzzle you just have to be willing to learn and be willing to be coached and put it all together and um, it, it's amazing it, it's 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 amazing when you can make your first dollar online from somebody you don't know that's the beautiful part about this it's you know, it's, it's not like network marketing where you're going out and building teams and, you know, you're talking to your friends and family. I mean, this is truly marketing online to total strangers uh, via free paid advert, free or paid advertising. So it's very unique in its, in its own way. Um, but finding that niche before you get started online is key because you just don't want to go out there and just throw a bunch of information out there because nobody's going to know who you are, what you do, right? So like I told you, I'm in affiliate marketing. I've drilled down my product. I have a high-end product, so I've even drilled down the niche even further. So that's what you want to do. Once you figure out that niche, then you want to figure out what it is with inside that niche that you want to really promote and market, and then just take it and go full force. So that's it for today. I hope you've learned something. I hope you found some value in this video. When you're picking your niche, really, really think about it. Think about those five categories that I gave you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, if you, there's a great category I missed, please comment below. would love to know what that is. Um, and again, if this is your first time to the channel, if you'd hit that subscribe button, I'd love to be able to send you valuable uh, videos each and every week. So that's it for now. We'll see you on the next video.